Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We've got tabs. We're doing tabs. Oh, and um, we're doing some different kind of tabs, like not with the punches. If you can hear some noises, um, it's my washing machine. I am in my dining room, which is just off of my kitchen because it's warmer than it is in my craft room. And my craft room, oh, it's a hot mess. Like Hurricane Tony has rummaged through that like you wouldn't believe. And now I have, um, I've taken over my dining room table, but it needs must, needs must. And it's warm in here. So yeah, I've got everything round me that I need round me. I've got filled my little three story trolley with all my goodies. So I'm ready to go. Right. So first off what I have made some, um, ahead of time because I couldn't help myself. So let me show you first what I have made because I also um, remember saying that there is um, the ones where so here is here's the ones that I cut with the punches um, and the ones so that I used up the whole piece of paper instead of um, leaving bits that you couldn't fit the double bit on um, I ended up I cut a load of single ones so I am going to show you how I turn the single ones into double ones as well um so here's some of the ones i made these are the ones that they were the single ones and i've turned them into double and the same with this one how cool are they <gasps> they're just so cool um and then these ones oh here's another one that's another one as well and um these ones are all made from the bits that i made in my previous video using all the washi tape bits um i went and got some more washi tape look at all that gorgeous ephemera i also got some of my tim holtz paper and did some stamping and just distressed them as well so um i've been using those as eph as ephemera as well so these tabs are actually made from my we are memory keepers punch um and yeah oh i love them I mean, just look how cool. Oh, I absolutely love them. There's some of the stamped ephemera that I made. Um, this is some of the washi tape from Elizabeth Craft Designs as well. And some other bits and pieces. Um, I made some more as well. So I have lots of strips. I used the whole roll up, I'm not going to lie, um, just to make ephemera. And I use them as little sort of like flag pieces hanging off the bottom. Um, here's another one with a little bit of a distressed heart in it, handled with care. And yeah, here are some of the tabs that I made and I love them. Um, just so you can see, how cool does that look? How cool, they just look. They just look so cool. Even just on a blank bit of cardstock. Oh, I love them. So let's get in to what we're going to be using. So first off, I have my We Are Memory Keepers punch board. Um, I, I'm not gonna use any of this bit. Um, I don't know where the, the knife, the blade's gone for the thingy anyway. I think it's probably um, in the place where I had it stashed. But we don't need it anyway, so that's fine. We're not going to use anything at the top there. So this is the memory, the We Are Memory Keepers punch board. I am also have some um, of the Tim Holtz stamps as well. So I'm going to be using those. I have some of the Tim Holtz paper craft stock. So we're going to be using those. And some of his ephemera. So his curator snippets and the, where are they? The number strips as well. We're going to be using some of those. We're going to be using a little, quite a bit more of the ephemera um, that I made in my previous video. I mean, just look at it all. Ah, oh, it's just all little, little 
tub of gorgeousness so that's what we're going to be using um quite a bit of that as well i also have some so this is the get your stash go in your stash and i have the tabs that i showed you earlier were made from this prima pad um and i think it's it is quite old um 2014 but because back in the day i was a hoarder um and this paper is just absolutely stunning oh i love every bit of this paper um i also have the etc um tim holtz etc and i hoarded these as well seven gypsies you don't really get to see a lot of seven gypsies anymore um but these pads are just oh i just love them so i've got lots of six by six. this one is my favorite absolute favorite the papers in here i mean just look they're just i mean what a comeback as well oh i love that bit um because these are old i've had these for years and years and years and these kind of papers are coming right back i don't know if there's a date on it um ba, 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 ba. 2010 so these are older than the prima ones 2010 this one is this one is 2011 and this one is 2011 as well but this one is just as gorgeous if you like the postal um airmail kind of theme i mean look at that ah oh, it's just lush i mean look ah oh, i love it i love seven gypsies that's why i hoarded it because i love seven gypsies um and i also have the collage as well by tim holtz um i don't think the he does these anymore um i think you can still get them but he doesn't actually do them because he's got his backdrops so yeah um so we're going to be using some of the, those as well um so pull out any of your papers doesn't matter because you're going to be putting stuff over them anyway but yeah pull out all your papers all your stash um and pull out some pieces it doesn't have to be eight by eight or six by six it can be a four it can be eight by eleven or eight and a half by eleven twelve by twelve anything you've got anything you've got it really doesn't matter just pull out some um some of your scrap paper um i also have my favorite oxides which are scorched timber and vintage photo and then all my stamping is going to be done in um versifying claire oh dropping all my cards stock on the floor i see i've got it um versifying claire but obviously um you know we know that it doesn't stamp on the craft stock so i won't be stamping it on that i use archival when i'm stamping on the craft stock because otherwise it just doesn't dry um and i think i think that is about it to be honest i have um already cut out some of the these ones as well um that was using the punches that i got from doading <coughs> excuse me so i've already got some of those cut out um i had these when i was making the ephemera in my last video so i'm still going to see if there's bits in here that i can use and yeah let's get on with making some cool tabs so first off i'm going to pick some sheets of paper and i'm sorry i'm not using that one yet um but i might i might grab a sheet out of here no i'm not using seven gypsies it's not thick enough so we'll leave that and put that aside um let's pick one out of collage shall we let's see what is this one let's see well i need to get another one of these because i've used a lot i love this one i think this one is my favorite this bit i think i've got this one in 12 by 12 as well so out my trimmer and 
and firstly I'm just going to trim this tiny little smidgen of this jaggedy edge off just so it's straight and now what we want to do is um, I do have some of the tabs already cut over here but I just want to show you how I do it so this one um, is the large and this one is the medium so if you open it up this one is one and a half inches and I think they're all one and a half inches thick yeah so <coughs> to save your paper um, cut yourself one and a half inch strips And then you'll probably be, you will be left with a little smidgen at the end just here but save that because you could probably turn that into pieces of ephemera so don't chuck that so you have these here which are perfect and let me do the same with this one So one and a half, one and a half, and the last one, and then again, keep the little strip. So then we're going to get rid of the trimmer and we're going to get out our scoreboard which mine's looking a little bit worse for wear but hey ho right and then we're just going to take our strips and we're going to strip cut um score at one at three quarters of an inch which is straight down the middle. Oh, that went straight down the middle, Tony. That was wonky. There we go. So, score all those. Right, so even though we have this bit, because obviously this is made to put tabs on um, like your sheets. So that, there's two, there's two holes here. So there's the, for the corner rounder. So if you move that there and put that, it rounds it. And then if you move it to the next holes, then it gives you the file. So then what you do is you take that out and you turn this over and there's small, medium and large. So however big you want your tab, you then line it up, push it down and that's when you then put it in there and then you cut across. But we're not doing that. So that's what it's made for. It's made to stay so like that bit's gone um it's it's made to sort of like make a tab like that we're not doing that we're going to make double folded tabs and we don't need this bit here because underneath here when you push your paper in there's a little bit of a, a it's kind of stops you it's only at the top so you've got to be very careful because if you don't catch it you can sort of like i mean i'm catching it there but if I, it does go all the way through. 
if you don't catch it but you should be able to catch it so i have folded all these all the sheets of um cardstock that we cut um don't forget we cut them we scored them we cut them at one and a half and we scored them at three quarters of an inch um and then that gives you a perfect size tab you can have it deeper but if you have it um if you have the tab any longer um because i already have some strips here that i cut out as well i just haven't scored them um if you have it longer than three quarters of an inch you end up with this little line down here because that's obviously where it that's this bit that's that bit there now i don't mind that little bit because honestly it means that when you come to put it on your work in your journal or wherever you're going to put it you can kind of line that up and get the full tag off the edge so i, I really didn't mind doing that um, and i think these were measured at these were two inches so and then scored at one inch um yeah and you just get a little bit off the edge so i thought that was quite cool but what we're going to do is we're going to slide it in and then can you see that there's something that stops it from going all the way through that's what you want to hit you want to hit that bit and then just punch like that and you will get a little strand which it you know just trim it off and then do the same on this side place it in and where it's got that little bit of something stopping it trim and then let's take that out so we can slide it under um, i'm going to do a couple of large so then we're going to cut just line it up against the large tab and again cut off the little bit of and there you have your folded tab perfect so let's do a couple more this one i think i might i'm going to do it large as well because that that label needs to be we need more of that label on there perfect and again just give it a little bit of a trim to straighten it out and there's another one now with this bit you don't have to do anything with this bit really um but what i like to do is just slide it in and then cut off the little trim bit and then not measure it up or anything just and it's a little bit fiddly but if you just there just slide it in real careful and then you get this cool this cool little tab which would be these tabs would look so cool with a little eyelet in and then a dangle hanging off it so yeah keep the middle bit and make a tab out of it as well <coughs> oh, excuse me um i've got another one here and another one here so that's what i did just out of the little bits it's a bit finicky but it can be done you also don't have to stick by the size either so if you want a file folder um tab to say you've got um what's these are eight by eight aren't they so say you've got an eight by eight journal um let's slide that in and punch and then oh and don't forget to move the bits out the bottom either because they can get stuck make sure you got it round the so the fold is at the top because that would be messy and then punch again and you have a file folder that you could stick on the full length of your page which i think is really cool um or you could just i'm going to do a medium one now just keep cutting your tabs let's do another medium one and then again oh no see it's it does sometimes slide past so push it in but when you get to that bit where it stops don't push it anymore just 
re be really gentle because it's not very big and um yeah it will and then you've got another tablet it will um go straight through also these little bits that you get out of it as well these are really cool shapes i mean look at that you could use that as something on the edge on the edge of your page that could be like another decorative item or you could get a bit that matches glue the ends together and you've got a different shaped tab so yeah i mean we don't like to throw anything away so you know if you want to keep them you could keep them you can make something out of them so I'm going to make a few more tabs and then I'll be back. Right, so I have cut lots more tabs. I've got the larger ones in here as well. Um, and I have got all my strips so that if I want to make some more, I have my strips all ready. So let's put those aside. So we do have quite a few. I made some long ones as well the other day. So we have some, I think these are... These are five and a half inches in length, so they would be perfect on a six by six um, junk journal or something. And I have lots of the medium and the large that I did the other day as well, plus the ones we've done today. Right. Um, so first off, I'm going to get, where's my, there it is, my piece of card. And we're going to start, we're going to distress some as well. So let's get our, move those to the side. I've got vintage photo and scorched timber. And we're just going to go like we'd have done in all the other videos just going to go around the edge both sides and then again just right on the edges with the scorched timber oh love this color And then guess what we're going to do? Voila! Yep. There you're going, Sandin! <laughs> and then I just like to go down. Oh, and just look at that. How cool does that look? Absolutely just so cool and i'm going to do the same to one of these big ones as well i mean even look at that even just <laughs> i'm gonna get all geeky with you now <laughs> nerdy look how just with putting a bit of vintage photo on here how cool that just looks like that just fine like that Oh, I just, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'll do a couple on camera and then I'll do the rest off camera. Oh! There's something about, then tell me if you agree, there's something about the vintage colour cardstock with the red. I don't know what it is. I mean, red and pink are my favourite colours anyway. But the red with the vintage, oh, it just looks so cool. It just, I love it. I absolutely love it. And then you give it... A little dash of sanding and look at that i mean that on its own is just it's a masterpiece 
<laughs> oh, it's an absolute masterpiece. It should be in a museum. Perfect. I mean, oh, look at that. I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right. This one, I think I've just looked at it and it's, guess what? Hasn't got enough sanding on it. <laughs> you can never have enough sanding. So there's two done right there. I'm going to do some more off camera and then I'll be back because, you know, we don't want to waste the time that we've got inking and sanding that you see me do all the time. We want more time decorating. Yes. So I'm going to ink some more up and then I'll be back. Right, so I have distressed and sanded all the tabs. And now we're going to decorate. So first off, we're going to decorate one this one. And we're going to get over our little pieces of ephemera. And I also, I do love the look of a bit of mummy cloth by Tim Holtz. Um, just in the background. So I'm just going to snip off a piece of that as well and just tiny little bit like that and then what shall we use so shall we use yeah let's use the confidential and give this a little bit of distress Oh, dropping everything still and then with these strips what I like to do is I have a little stamping up punch that I got off of eBay um, and it's just like one of those little flag tabs but I love them so what I like to do is I like the arrow end and how I get that I'll just show you is I just put the end in, just a little bit like that, and then punch. And there's a little bit off the end, but and then to make it the flag end at the at the other end is so where where this top of this arrow piece is, slide into the punch and just make sure it's at the top and then punch and then you get a little arrow like that just sand down the sides just like that give it a bit of vintage and then get your glue And I'm just going to put, I'm going to put it on this side, I think, because I want to keep some of this label. Oh, cool. My glue's warm. Oh, that makes a change. My glue's been cold for months. And now it's, oh, look, oh, it's over spilling. Right, so then I'm just going to put on my piece of mummy cloth. And then, I think that might be a little bit too much glue, but it will seep through. So I'm going to put that on just there, straighten it up a bit. And then I'm going to put, not a lot because the glue's warm. So just a little bit of glue on there and then put that at the top there. And it is, it's just seeping out just a little bit. Push that down for a minute. And then I have just a little postal stamp. So I'm just gonna give a little dab and get a bit a piece of scrapped card. And I'm just going to, on the end there, and look at that. Oh, how cool is that? 
<laughs> How cool is that for a tab? So that's the first one. Um, let's do a bigger one now. And I want to put this just on the corner at the top there. Put this away. And now we have some more pieces. This is the Tim Holtz washi tape that I did. So first off, we're going to just do a little... And this one, because this bit is a little bit longer, so I'm just going to cut off the edges. And then the same, go to the top. Make sure it's in the middle. And you have another little arrow. another piece I think I'm gonna go long and thin with the mummy cloth on this one so I'm gonna put a strip of mummy cloth just down there and then that just oh just there hold it down and then I think I'm gonna put a bit of the measuring tape across the bottom so let's cut it off just there I can get my tweezers for this or I'm gonna get all glue all over myself across there hold it down just for a second and you could leave it like that but I'm going to have a look oh I quite like that colour no right let's see what we've got in here Maybe that. I do like that one. Um, a little sand and a distress. And then do the same to this one. Open it up. And just put it above there. Hold it down. And then this one. Oh. there we have another really cool tab so that's two and let's do some more right a nice strip of glue across there it is easier if you do it opened so the tab's opened up. Put that there. 
And then what else have we got? Let's put this on here too. I'm going to do it so it's just hanging off the edge because I like the numbers down the bottom. And then I quite like that one, but I think I want, yeah, I want some numbers, but I also want something to go underneath. So I'm just going to trim the edges off that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue along the top. that underneath there and then hold them down a little bit and there you have another one going to do another big one as well uh, 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 uh. right and with this one I think I'm going to do just a normal flat tab bit of distress and I'm not putting any more ink on my dobber. I'm just using the minimal amount that's on it. On there. And that there. And then what I do is when it's dry, I just pull bits of the mummy cloth just to give it another texture but I do wait until it's dry otherwise the mummy cloth slips away right let's use this one on here give this a bit of a sand and then I wonder if Let's put this one on first. Let's put this over here. And then this one is not straight at all, but I did it, so why are we expecting it to be straight? <laughs> And then that there. And I'm pretty sure in here I have some teeny. Aha! Little labels from. Some of Tim Holtz, I'll keep that out, um, snippets. Now we don't have to use, what else have we got in here? We don't have to use all of the ephemera we made. We can use, we can use anything we want. You can, we can use Tim Holtz as well. 
Um, I think I would quite like that one. Right, so let's ink up, and then we're going to get two. two labels out of one because I'm just going to do I'm just going to tuck it under there oh I just I love that effect and then we're going to put this little one and we're just going to put this there and there we have another tab and again once it's dry just pull apart ah oh, I love it I love it so that's four that we've done in a matter of minutes they're just oh they're just so easy to make and I think I'm going to put this little bit I wish you'd do a snippets of labels that would be so cool just a t pack of mini labels for things like this. Uh, they'd just be so awesome. I'd have tons of them. And how cool is that? I'm just going to snip that. Oh, the labels just, it just finishes it off. It's the same as the stamp. It's just, it just finishes it off. I absolutely love it. So there's four. Let's make a couple more. I'm going to use this on one. Um, I might use it on this one. Give it a bit of a sand. And an ink. And this one we're just going to glue the top because I want this hanging off. Because I do like it when it hangs off the bottom. Oop, got some spillage. Right, let's make some room. Move the ones that we've made over. Um, no, it must look a little too big. Oh, this one is quite cool though. Let's trim these off the end and then before you know it all the ephemera that you made out of your washi tape oh I know what I'm going to do is um, being all used up Let's put a little bit, let's put it a bit skew whiff. Oh, no, that's upside down. Is it upside down? Yes, it's upside down. That's it. Hold that down for a minute. And... Oh, we've got some glue coming out the back. And then I think we'll put this one on here as well. Just at the top. And I put a bit too much glue. So I'm going to wipe that off. And there we have another one. They're so easy to make. So quick and so easy. Once you, honestly, once you sit down and you get the hang of it, oh, you, there's just no stopping you. Maybe we could put that off the end there. Let's trim this down. And I'm going to have to get my vintage photo out because I think I've nearly used up what was left on my dobber. Put a bit more on. 
Oh, I just love that effect. I love that effect of the vintage photo and then the sanding. <laughs> it's just too cool. Right, so so we don't put any extra glue on. What do we want? We just want the top half. And then again, we're going to get another piece of mummy cloth. Hold that down. And let's use the rest of this ruler, measuring tape, whatever it is. And just go, oh, that's moving. Don't move. Just go along the bottom there. Keep it held down. Perfect, and then we're going to put this little one on. And we're going to put that just by the top. And then on this one, I might... I might just cut this off. I don't know if this will be, that's a little bit too big. Yeah, we just want a little one. So it looks like it's coming out from underneath. Do we want it down here or do we want it come in? Let's do it coming out the top. And have we got any more? No. That one, I'm going to use that one next. No, I think that will do. I think we'll leave that like that. I like that one. Ah, oh, it's just too cool. Right, so we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have. One, two, three, four, five, four left, five left. Right, let's make another one. So, I think I'm gonna, make one of these and I like that. No, I think we'll go a bit slimmer and we'll hang it at the bottom. Oh, we'll put this here. Let's open it up. A bit of glue. I could literally sit here all day and make these. I am all about the cozy crafts. Put this on here. Put that over. Yeah, do we want to? Yeah. I can't believe I just covered up a number, but hey ho. Right. 
Hmm, I think, I think it needs a little stamp. Cool, look at the mess I'm making. But a messy crafter is a happy crafter. Right, and then, no, because we don't want it on the back, do we? So let's turn, fold that over and then just... Oh, and it just fills in that gap and finishes it off. Just a simple stamp. Love it. Love it. I mean, I love this little stamp anyway. Don't ask where I got it from. Haven't got a clue. I think it's out of one of the Elizabeth Craft Designs um, You've Got Mail. I'm pretty sure it is the Elizabeth Craft Designs You've Got Mail one. But I will have a look and I will put it in the description box. So how many have we got left? We've got one, two, three, four. Right. Let's do... Bop, bop. Oh, I'm just going to stamp all of them, I think. Bub, bub. That was upside down. Let's turn that round. Da da. Perfect. Right. That's all the stamping done. So we've got four left. Ah. I think, oh, I love this, I love this number. This number is just my favourite. Right, let's have a little bit more mummy cloth and let's stick that on there. What one are we going to put it on? Should we put it on this one? And then I think we'll have the... Let's have that coming out the top. Right. Let's cover that bit up with glue. These could also be classed as mini clusters. You could make loads of these as well, just as like mini clusters, and then go through your box. Oh, my handle's gone wonky. That's it. And then. Straighten that bit up. Oh, and then hold that down. Manipulate the mummy cloth a little bit. And you have, oh, that's gone wonky again. That's it. And then you have another one. Another little cool one. And you could always leave a hole um, for when you stick it down, you want to punch a hole and put an eyelet in. So you could always leave um, a bit of a gap as well. Right, what else do we have? Let's put this on. Oh, just drop that on the floor. A bit of a sand. Go along the top. Put that underneath and then that on top. Oh, hold it down, um, and then. this one down straighten that up and I'm gonna put this on top I 
Now you could always, I don't know if I like that in the middle. Oh well, it'll have to stay there now. Um, you could always get your stamps out and just put like a little number stamp on there if you wanted to. So there's another one. And we have two left. We're flying. We're flying through these. Um, let's see what we've got. Oh, I love it. Right. Let's put this on. That's... Hang that out the top. And we don't need all of that. So we're just going to trim a little smidgen off. We'll keep that though because we'll use that on something else. And then, should we put a... An Agent 1920 on the bottom. And then again, manipulate the mummy cloth. Ah, oh, yes, I love it. Right, last one. Now, what shall we put on here? Let's, I know I've got another little bit of mummy cloth somewhere because, again, I'm only gluing in the middle in case I want to tuck something underneath it. Now, where is, I've got that little bit there. Might put that going off there. Hmm. I must have used it all. Ah, here we go. And then we'll put another bit coming off there. So we'll put some more glue along the middle. Put that on there and then let's find another label or something. We should have something. No, that's too big. No, oh, that's too big. And that should be in there. So should that. No. Um. No. See, this is why. This is why we need to have, I'm going to make one out of this. This is why we need to have a pack of Tim Holtz label snippets. Yes. So if you're watching this, <laughs> Tim, get on it. We need label snippets. In fact, I'm not going to put a border on it. I'm going to. Trim the border off and then sand it down, maybe straighten it up, that might be a good idea. And then you could also, you don't have to use your stamps, you could get your rub-ons as well and just Slide that underneath. Let's pull it out a bit. Let's 
trim a little bit of that off. And then let's have a look. Let's have a look, see what we've got in our stamps. Let's put all these back first. This one or this one. And yes, I do have two eccentrics because I lost one. And I was wounded and I couldn't find it anywhere. It got lost in the abyss of my craft room. So I brought another one and then I found it. It's just typical. Typical. But now I've got two. So I have two and I have one spare. <laughs> will original fit in there? I don't think it will, but I do think. Oh, I don't know. Let's give it a go. Doesn't really matter if it goes over the edge, I suppose. Yes. That'll do. That's cool. I like that. Is there anywhere else? We could stick a number. Um, maybe. I'll put that there. Well, not maybe, because I've done it. <laughs> A little bit off the end there. On the top there. On the top there. And I think, I think that will do. I think I'm going to get Right, so we need to get the ink off of the original and then Put that there and maybe all of it on the back and then again there oh I think that's it I wasn't going to get carried away let's put these back and let's have a tidy up and then I'll be back and there we have our tabs. I did just find another one um, that I didn't see and we didn't decorate, but that's okay because we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. We've got eleven. So that's not bad going. It's not bad going at all. And how cool do they look? Along with the ones that I made yesterday. And just quickly... I'm going to show you how I turn the single ones into doubles. So, right, let's just slide all those over there, but so you can still see them in all their glory. So I have two singles here <clears throat> and I have... A double here. So this double is cut out of sticker paper. So if I, I doubt I'll be able to, there you go, sticker paper. So what I do is I just cut a normal size tag out of sticker paper, get my glue, go right up to the edges. Get one of the singles, 
lay down on top. I'll do again with the other side. And lay that one down right next to it. And then there you have a double tab out of two singles. So what I normally do is because obviously there's nothing at the top there, but I just get, let's just for instance use a strip of this and then just put it over the top just like that get your sander One side, the other side. And then that should just come off. And do again the same on this side. There you go, and that just come off and then give it a little sand and there you have no gap. So that's literally what I've done on these. Just put a bit of washi over the top. So it just gives it a little bit more stability. And then if you take And get this take the backing off and let's just use a random piece of cardstock and then put the tab on close it up and there you have two single-sided tabs that you made out of paper so that you didn't you didn't waste the paper and it's a double it's a double how cool i'll put that on wrong how cool is that though that's just so cool i love it i absolutely love it and i have to say i like that washi tape mm -hmm. so you might be seeing that a lot in my next few videos the washi tape because <laughs> i'm a bit obsessed at the minute i'm obsessed with washi tape sanding scorched timber and tabs what can I say? Um, but what I might do in my next video, um, because oh, I just love that. I love that idea. I think that's so cool. So yeah, look, just on sticky paper, on sticker paper. So, I mean, I had tons and tons of sheets of sticker paper and it all now comes in handy. So all the ones that, I mean, I've got these ones are singles. That's, that one's a double, sorry. Here's a single. This one's, yeah, they, they are singles, yeah. Here's two singles. So you just cut out one of these, stick a paper, stick it down. Or you don't even have to have sticker paper. You could just use, I use sticker paper just so it was easy to stick, but you could, but then that kind of defeats the object, doesn't it? Sticking it on another patterned paper. Why would you do that? You're better off just getting like a bit of printer paper or some sticker paper, just some trash paper, and then just using it as a background for these two. It doesn't have to be sticker paper. It can be any paper you want. So yeah, give it a go. So much fun. And in my next video, I had, where did I put all my ephemera? I think I put it in its own tub. I did. Bear with me. Right, 
so here it has we have our own tub and i you know i did these um in my previous video so let's get some more and they're so cool there we go and also with these so let's get let's say a photo and you could turn that hang that so it's hanging off the page the little dangle see using all kinds using all oh look this one yes oh that one hanging off of there like that Can you imagine that hanging off a page oh how cool would that look see oh so many possibilities my brain is just going blah, 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 at the minute right let's put these away quickly and because i keep digressing so right there are all the little bits i've made for my ephemera next video i had these two rolls of washi tape and i'm pretty sure there was amazon and they've got tons and tons of tickets really cool tickets well not tons they've actually got so let's have a look so three six eight eight different tickets on a roll and the roll is quite thick there's quite a few on there um and i have two of them yeah look there's quite a few on there so what i did in my previous video is um i stuck them all on cardstock just white cardstock plain white cardstock and made some like journaling cards and stuff but how cool do they look so i think mm -hmm, mm, 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 mm. yeah i think i'm gonna make some journal cards out of these oh my god how cute does that look oh my oh it's like these these tabs were made for these journal cards Ah, oh, see now oh my god the idea is going around in my head oh just so many so many oh i haven't had the creative juices flowing like they are right now i've got so many ideas so many ideas i think i'm gonna film more than one video today because i absolutely love this going through my stash because it's just feeding my creativity it's so cool so i go through your stash all your old stuff grab it out stuff that you sit there and you think i would never use that why did i buy that i'm never going to use that that's kind of like you know gone out of fashion gone out of style whatever um and that you just think that uh, that's just not my style anymore doesn't matter use it because like you saw on all the tabs you basically cover most of the tab anyway with your ephemera so it doesn't matter what it looks like go through your stash i love it i absolutely love it and the ideas that are just popping into my head just through going through stuff that i've already got normally you see normally i'm the kind of <laughs> i love that um normally i'm the kind of crafter that i get inspired when i walk around craft shops and stuff like that i also get inspired when i watch other youtube videos like everybody you know the creativity out there is just absolutely outstanding. Um, and Instagram and TikTok and YouTube, they're all social media. There's always something that I look at and I'm like, oh, I wonder if I could do this. Um, yeah, and I just, it just, there's inspiration everywhere. But normally what I like to do is I like to walk around craft shops and have a look for new products and then see if they spark some creativity inside my brain, which they normally do. Sometimes I look at things and I think, I could do that with you and I could do that with you. So that's what I like doing. Little did I know, I mean, it's obviously the same because you're basically just shopping in your craft room. So, and it's free. That's what, <laughs> that's what makes it even better. Absolutely even better. So yeah, so sorry for the long outro. <laughs> <laughs> check me out intro outro um but yeah go through your stash have a look 
because oh, I feel so happy right now. <laughs> I'm winning and I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, all the gorgeous little bits that I've made in my last few videos, just from using stuff that is literally just sitting around my craft room. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Um, I'm going to have to quickly go because Ernie is um, currently, at, actually it's not Ernie, it's Bert. He's currently at the back door saying, Mummy, I want to go out. So, yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, everybody, and happy crafting. Bye.